Welcome back to Cujo 06241 Spider Thon, where I'm going over every animated Spider Man series from the 90s on up. Today I'm going to do a double feature. I'm going to talk about the Spider Man Unlimited and the 2003 animated series. First up, Spider Man Unlimited. The series premiered in 1999 and is a loose continuation of the 1994 animated series. In this one, Peter is voiced by Reno Romano, who does a pretty good job. Pulling off the sarcasm and the seriousness wasn't as good as Christopher Daniel Barnes, but it's good for what it is. As for the plot, well, Peter's fully grown and lives with Mary Jane. It starts off with John, Joma, John Jameson, excuse me, son of J. Jonah Jameson, embarks on a one-man mission to counter Earth, but is sabotaged by Ven Venom and Carnage, which results in the people blaming Spider-Man. Spider-Man then saves a number of people from a burning building and is presumed dead. Peter talks with Mary Jane about it, and they decide that maybe it's best that Peter get, gives up on being Spider-Man. But he wanted to save Jameson, and the only way to do that was to be Spider-Man. Peter later creates a new Spider-Man suit made out of nanotechnology that he borrowed from Reed Richards, otherwise known as Mr. Fantastic. He then travels to counter Earth and discovers that Jameson is the leader of a human resistance who is fighting a war against the Bestials, which are hybrids of animal and human traits. Long story short, the show is basically about Spidey helping Jameson and trying to get back to Earth. It's interesting to note that the series shows the animated version of John Jameson's man-wolf form and superhero versions of mainstream enemies the Green Goblin and Vulture. The show had a total of 13 episodes. Why so few? It was cancelled early due to its ratings being lower than Digimon and Pokemon. Several scripts were written for season 2, but nothing was produced. It's a real shame too. The last episode ends on a cliffhanger, and that's the ending we all have to live with. Of course, unless you get the comic books, but I don't know where to find any of them, and I've, believe me, I've looked. Overall, the show was pretty satisfying. I would have loved to have seen a second season, but it is what it is. Now, it may seem a bit early, but I'm going to give my rating, and as for it, I give it an 8 out of 10. After Spider-Man Unlimited was cancelled, we didn't get any more animated series to follow up. Instead, we got a movie in 2002. And in 2003, a new animated Spider-Man series premiered on MTV, simply titled Spider-Man. Though nowadays we refer to it as Spider-Man, the new animated series. This is the first, and so far only, Spider-Man series that is not traditional animation. It's CGI. Spider-Man is voiced by Neil Patrick Harris in this series, who does a great job, actually. He would return as the Amazing Spider-Man in Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. What made Spider-Man the new animated series stand out, it was more geared towards teenagers or adults, which may have been why it was so appealing to me. There was swearing, some minor sexual talk, and even death. I remember watching this and just being absorbed into it. But it also disturbed me. Keep in mind, I was 11 when this came out. I wasn't really used to seeing a more adult-centered Spider-Man. I remember an episode titled The Party. Maxwell Dillon, otherwise known as Electro, kills the leader of a group of bullies that bullied him before he got his powers, and they were in college. That's right, a kid from college is killed by Electro. At the time, it blew my mind. The show only had one season and a total of 13 episodes. In the final shot of the final episode titled Mind Games Part 2, Peter puts the Spidey suit in a suitcase with a couple of bricks and drops it in an ocean, where it sinks to the bottom. In Peter's reflection of the water, it flashes to him in the Spidey suit for a brief second, and he walks away. It was a satisfying way to end the series. I would have liked to have seen more episodes, but what can you do? My rating? I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Now I know this one was a bit short, and I would have loved to have said more, but I, it's there isn't much for me to go off of, so all I can say is both these series, Spider-Man Unlimited and Spider-Man the New Animated Series, were pretty good. 
I recommend checking them out. You can probably find every episode on YouTube. But as for me, I got work to do. Check in for part 3 of Cujo 06241 Spider Thon, where I wrap up everything by reviewing The Spectacular Spider Man and Ultimate Spider Man. Well, what's been made of it anyway. <laughs> this is Cujo 06241 signing out.